to the back nine here in Mickelson National in Calgary, Alberta. One over on the front nine, hit the ball fairly well. Driver kind of got away from me at the end, just a little bit, but still, this course is very forgiving off the tee, but you have to be super precise with your approaches and you gotta have a short game or else the screens and around the greens will coach you alive here. So one over on the front nine, my goal here on the back is probably to keep it at 75 or under. So two under, two over on the back would be a good goal. And uh, it's plays about 34, 50 on the back nine, but the front nine is about 100 yards longer than what it's set up to on the scorecard. So could be playing about 7,000 today. Welcome back. This is the back nine at Mickelson National and the club drop comes out to start this nine holes off. That's not a good sign. This course was designed and built by Phil Mickelson and his, and his team. Prototypical Phil Mickelson style bomb it pretty much all over the place. And uh, you got to have a really good short game as there's so much undulation around and on the greens. So you short game has to get dialed here or you're going to get absolutely roasted around this course. And I really would consider this course very similar style to something you would see almost like in Australia with, and I've never played there, just going off pictures, like Kingston Heath and all those kind of courses. Kind of very similar design with the bunkers. Um, so let's start off with the par. It was a really, really good bunker shot from 70 yards off the fairway or 60 yards off the fairway and uh, put it to about 12 feet. So I was super happy with that. Made a good two putt. Now we're on to hole 11. It's a par 5, 616 yards. This is a beast. So I just tried to hit a really a rope draw slinger, kind of as low as I could, ran it into the fairway bunker, laid up here to 132 yards. I got a 9-iron uphill into the wind. Now, I had to catch a little bit of a flyer here out of this rough because this thing jumped hard, and the wind kind of didn't really even touch this ball. It went over the back, and just it was just one of those things where it, you just misjudge it a little bit and it happens in golf it was a well-struck shot i've hit three really good shots on this hole and i wasn't on the green and that sometimes that's just golf but that was a bad shot like i said earlier these greens and around it are going to punish you if your short game's not on the green was sloping so far away from me put the ball in a really bad spot left myself with 30 feet up the hill 25 feet up the hill and just you can't put yourself in those positions especially for par so get away with a bogey there so I'm one over on the back nine and I am two over now overall you can really start to hear the wind picking up and then anyone knows anything about link style golf if the wind picks up everyone is in trouble you are in for a heck of a hard time trying to flight the ball trying to get your distance right even on the green it's tough to putt because it will push the ball around the greens hit a really good drive on this hole left myself with 161 in hit an eight iron from here and i got a really really lucky bounce as you can tell by my facial expression it hit left side of the green as far left as possible and it kicked about 40 feet to the right or even more. Left myself with 30 feet here, another long putt, but a really, really good distance control right now. The putter feels good from long range, so really good, really happy with that. Two putts from 30 feet, that's a walk away with a smile on your face. So it's six putts through three holes in the back nine, just missed the 12 footer on 10. But this is hole 13 at Mickelson National. It's a par four, 471 yards. And again, just trying to play that low rope draw. This one was hit really well, right down the middle. Got a lot of roll on this thing, but again, into the wind. So only went about 280, but I was happy with that. Left myself with 196 in, hitting a five iron, and just, just caught the top of the bunker and went in. Another yard, and it was absolutely perfect actually hit the flag stick with that bunker shot and uh, just rolled out. So again, you don't want to be in the wrong spots on these greens. That's not the bunker you want to be at the green sloping away from you. Really tough to get it anywhere close. Left myself with 20 feet up the hill again. So there's nothing even close to even trying to make it easy to make pars and just couldn't get up and down from that bunker. It's another tough spot. Again, this, this punishes, around, punishes you around these greens and on the greens on this course. So two over now in the back nine, three over overall. Hole 14 here at Mickelson National is a 430 yard par four from the second tees and it's downwind. So we went at this thing and absolutely launched it about 
341 yards, had 89 yards in downwind with a lob wedge and hit a really good lob wedge in there to about 15 feet. So these are the putts I need to start taking advantage of. I need to start making these because I haven't had anything close and this thing snaps so hard. That's a really good putt. I thought I had that halfway there when I saw it breaking. I thought it was in the hole. There's nothing really too bad about that. I'm taking that. I don't care what you say. That's a par. <laughs> so this is par three and i wish the sun wasn't directly in our face because this is a beautiful hole it kind of takes away from how this hole looks sure but it's playing 188 yeah. yards downwind and i hit an eight iron and i absolutely flushed this thing on this hole is kind of cool i couldn't really show the video because the oh go in go in oh man that was so close on this hole me and the my playing partner's balls are touching on the green from 188 so if you've ever experienced that before in a hole where 180 190 yard par three or two balls are side by side off tee shots comment i want to know so two over now through 15 holes this is hole 16 a really really well designed short par four it's 290 yards but it's super narrow the smart safe play is just to lay up, have it to 100 yards, have something in hand. I went with a two iron, tried to run it up there, and uh, just caught in this nasty rough. Just able to chunk it out to there to the front of the green. Left myself about 15 feet off the green, and such a quick putt. Such a quick putt. And I th saw it coming back just at the hole. I thought I made I, it I again. Buy one. I'm just coming just fact no luck just... around the holes right now. No luck. That's three putts in a row that today, just, just, if they drop, this is a completely different score. So... Just no luck around the hole. But I'm hitting good putts. I'm happy with that. Now, this is a bad swing. And <laughs> just overcooked this yeah. one to the right. 191 yards. Got a 7 iron in hand. Found the deep green side bunker. This thing's got to be about 10 or 12 feet below the green. And got it on the green. Now, the plan was just to get it somewhere on. Give myself a good look at par. And I did just that. Left myself with 10 feet here for par. And I got to make a putt. I got to make a putt at some point, right? And it just didn't break. Didn't break. I've been reading the greens, I thought, pretty well throughout this whole round. And that one just didn't break. Don't know why. Obviously, because it was flat. So this is hole 18. This is the last hole to try to make a birdie on the back nine. This is 506 yards from the second tees. So very gettable. And I got so lucky with this tee shot. We both thought this ball was in the water. Somehow, it did not go in the water. And that's I'm not lying on this. I drove around and started laughing when I saw my ball here. Have 171 in, hit an 8 iron, just kind of left this out to the left a little bit. I thought it, there was a slope over there that would kick it, but I also was trying to draw it in there. It just didn't draw, it just ended up straight. So I'm going to play this one kind of into the slope a little bit, use that, and it was this was a nice touch, oh, I'd have to say. Landed it kind of exactly where I wanted to, but it rolled out. Again, these greens roll out quite a bit. Left myself with about 8 feet here. That's a good roll. Ah, maybe Finally. six feet. That's a bird to end it. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. That's all 18 from Mickelson National. Loved it. Course is in phenomenal shape. These greens are treacherous and fast. So, 75. One over on the back. Two over on, or one over, one over on the front, two over on the back. Only two birdies. First hole in the 18th hole. So, good start, good finish. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you like this. You got more Calgary stuff coming. So, Silver Tips up next. Mm -hmm.